Hello and welcome back to the channel, Life of Bonsai. We have this tree right here, and I'm not too sure what species it is, either a holy or a privet. Anyways, so in the previous video, you might have seen that I went to visit my favorite nursery, and they have really nice nursery stock. This is one of the trees of many that were there of this variety, and I really wanted to take one, so I had to go back and take this tree, and long story short i got this thing for free i got it for free the thing is that the owner um i asked him how much this tree was and he's like man this this is tree this tree is ugly it's all chopped down there's barely any leaves on it and of course for them if it's a landscape tree of course it's, it's not pretty however we want this for bonsai so as you can see it's kind of like a double trunk here but it's got a really nice vase already forming, pretty thick trunk, really good ramification. So what I'll be doing in this video, uh, this pot was pretty messed up, so I just chopped it off because it was already pretty broken. Anyway, so I'll be putting it into a pond basket. So what is this going to do? This pretty much helps grow those uh, more vigorous roots because of all the aeration that comes through all these holes. So I'll be removing a little bit of the, of the soil. So just removing no root pruning or anything like that. As you can see, the size is pretty good. It might be even a little bit bigger. So for it to allow it to grow a little bit more. So I'm sure it can still thicken up a little bit. And once I repot, I'm gonna add some bonsai soil, which I already have some uh, bonsai soil at the bottom and then just fill up the rest with uh, some uh, smaller green bonsai soil. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's gonna be fun. Now before we start the video, I want to let you know that I'm doing a giveaway for this winged elm. It's looking really nice, all you have to do is be a subscriber, comment down below your favorite tree species, like, share, and that's it, you are in. At 7,000 subscribers, which is pretty close now, I'm gonna announce the winner, good luck, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so here we are, first thing is, remove the tree out of the container here. And yeah, this thing is, it's really nice. As you can see, the base is just, just beautiful. And again, the guy, he's, he's like, man, you, he kind of laughed a little bit too, because he was like, do you really want to take this? And in my head, I was like, of course I want to take it. And he's like, you know, I can't really sell you something like this. Uh, it's, it's not nice. I mean, this was pruned and... You know, it's, it's, it's barely growing any leaves in it, and but I can't sell you something like this. So I was like, no, just let me know how much and I'll buy it. And I know they got good deals, good prices, so I knew it wasn't going to be like crazy expensive tree. And he's like, you know, just take it for free. You know, take it for free. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, yeah, take it for free. And I was like, wait, <laughs> you don't tell me twice. So... Yeah, and this is this is a really good tree for bonsai. This is really really good tree, honestly. Um, you know, like I said, I had to go back, so my intention was just to go back and just just buy it. And uh, but I ended up getting it for free, which of course you know you you won't say no to to a tree like this for free. Pretty advanced tree already. Uh, the soil is not the best. So it's not the best, and that's the reason why I'm trying to remove as much as I can to put it up with fresh, more fresh bonsai soil. Okay, so here we have it, and no root pruning, just remove as much as I could of the soil, and this is going straight right here. No root pruning, no disturbance on the roots, nothing. Just a nice little cleanup of that soil. Another reason why I decided to clean that soil, it's because um, sometimes these trees sit there for a while in old soil. And of course, you know, you wanna make sure that you have better drainage as well. This soil seems to be pretty compacted. And I know myself when I have a tree with soil like that, I tend to overwater. So I don't wanna do that with this tree, especially with this nice tree. So. I'm going to fill up the sides with some bonsai soil. Let me just make sure that is 
centered. Of course, it doesn't have to be amazing because this is not a bonsai pot, but still, I want it to, you know, just look decent so I can still admire this tree while it's in development. So I think that's pretty centered right there. And now this is some bonsai saw that I was using for cuttings, but I don't have no more cuttings to use. So I'm just gonna fill up the sides with this. And again, the rest is going to be used with this mother substract. So what I use for when I mean bonsai soil is what people call the um, APL, which is Pumice, Lava, and Akadama. This is really good substract for bonsai. Um, I know on Amazon, I used to buy that when I first started doing you know, bonsai. And I used to buy this substract from Amazon. It's not too bad, but I don't think it's as good as this bonsai soil that is used. And this is used by... Um, Good bonsai artists, you know, like the, the top bonsai artists, they, most of them, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they use this mixture of, of bonsai soil. So, it's not bad. It's really good. It's really good. And it really helps with keeping the watering level. Um, like one of the members um, of the bonsai society that I go to, where I learn a lot. Um, they said that it's pretty much impossible to water over water a tree that is in bonsai soil reason why is because it's got really good aeration and It's really really good and it drains real nicely Here we have our tree uh, Put it up and I already watered it and just waited for it to dry out a little bit So again, not root pruning at all. I'm just going to give you a 360 so and I, as I was um, removing some of the soil, I was able to uncover some more roots that are flaring out, uh, radial roots, which is pretty dope. This, this tree is really nice. And the trunk is, is pretty thick. It's pretty thick, so I'm sure it's going to thicken up a little bit more uh, with time. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove some of the branches. So as you can see, this branch is just crossing this way. I think I'm going to remove it completely. I'm going to remove branches. There's a bunch of dead branches, as you can see. So I'm going to take those off. This one here. Take it off. And some of the dead stuff right there. There's another branch that is dead. There's some growth down here. So I'm going to remove this dead branch. Yep, completely dead. I like this one, even though it's at the back of the front that I selected. Let me see. Kind of towards the back. But some, for some reason, I like this dead wood looking over here. Another dead branch. I'm going to remove it. Now all these edges at the top, those are completely dead. So trim it down a little bit. And for this tree, I might want it shorter. Now I'm not too sure which route to go at the moment with this trunk. Now there's this branch kind of twisting right here. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think. I like this one because this one has got a better structure on this side. And maybe just keep it this height. And then just trim off the rest later on. But um, yeah, uh, this I'm not too sure. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. But yeah, we shall see what, what happens. Again, there's some more dead branches up here. And don't worry, I'm not doing any extreme pruning I'm just taking away all the dead branches just so you can look a little bit cleaner there all the dead 
dead branch. It crosses, so it's great. Dead branch right there. And it leaves away. There is a bunch of growth up here. So I'm going to take that down. I want it to be more compact, so removing a lot of that extra growth. Again, I'm going to make it be shorter, maybe around right here. Um, not too sure, but we'll sh we shall see uh, what direction the tree goes. But for now, just let it settle and make sure that it uh, that it survives the winter so that's that's the main thing right now but yeah so far this is a great tree and for free i mean for free come on you, you can't say it's a great tree especially for free um if it was like a tiny skinny one i mean it'd be like mm, it's all right but i mean this is a pretty well developed tree already some radial roots growing already and um I might leave it here for one more season or maybe until until spring or somewhere around that and maybe repot. Not too sure. Maybe just let it grow a little bit bigger. But for now, that's pretty much it with the video. I do appreciate you watching and sticking to the end of the video. Don't forget about the giveaway. Link down in the description with the video describing the giveaway. So... Stay tuned. You guys have a great day.